Welcome back to The Blend. It's Friday, meaning it's time for this week's Rock Block. But this week, a man and his hair stopped by to help me out. Say hello to the one and only Silverone, who you probably know from his band Saigon Kick, his work with Skid Row, or maybe you recognize him from uh, television or TV. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for having me. Thanks for this being fun. here. Well, we're listening to um, that iconic ballad, yeah. Love is on the Way. Yes. That reached Billboard Top 10. It How did. did that change your life? Well, uh, first of all, there's no drums on it, so that was kind of bad. <laughs> but um, actually, it, it, it opened a lot of doors. You know, it was back in 92. We uh, had a top 10 hit. Uh, Whitney Houston actually had that uh, Bodyguard song at the time. Oh. It kind of locked the chart. Okay. You know, so we, we kind of stood there at, at, at eight. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it, was, it was a hit, and it really, really opened doors for us. And, and I think that um, even though it wasn't, it was a great song, but didn't really show the full kind of uh, spectrum of music that Saigon Kick did, it also uh -huh. allowed us to kind of do what we do now and kind of advance our careers and use that to get to the point where sure. we're at today. Sure. You know, so I was very grateful for that and it was a lot of fun. I mean, we're 20 something years old, yeah. you know, living the dream, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Now, I've, I've heard some rumors that Saigon Kick is getting back together. Is this true? Well, yeah, that we're, there's um, Jason Beeler, who's a guitar player, uh, Chris McLernan, who is the bass player, and myself, we are talking about doing some special shows, like storyteller shows. So it'll be, we're gonna play our whole catalog of music because uh, the first two records had a, another singer, Matt Kramer, um, and he's no longer singing, be, but that left three other records wide open that we never played. So the fans have always asked us for those records. So what we're gonna do these days is put a very intimate show together, uh, uh, Q&A, the, the, the uh, crowd gets a set list so they can pick and choose what we're going to play. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they get to ask us questions and we're just going to have kind of like an unplugged storyteller type vibe and do some limited shows and see how it goes. If it picks up, we'll do more. But we're doing a Vegas show uh, and Los Angeles will be playing it as well. So we haven't had the dates yet, but as soon as we get them, I promise I'll tell All you. All right, keep yeah, us in the loop for sure. Doubt. But you also play for Jakey e. Lee's uh, Red Dragon Cartel. Yes, I do. Uh, we just finished recording a record, uh, the, the second... Uh, RDC record and that'll be out in 2018 and we're also going to do a world tour as well. Oh, right on, yeah. right on. Well, how do we keep up with you and everything that you're working on? Yeah, philverone.com, of course, uh, is the easiest way, but I'm on social media. Real Phil Verone is on everything, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So just come up, say hello to me on there. All right, well, yeah. let's get to what's happening this week okay. or the show announcements that sure. are going on. Uh, September Morning is coming to Vamped on September 7th. And who's opening for themselves? Cracker Man. Right on, that's I love right. those guys. Yeah, I'm so excited for this show. If you don't know who they are, get your Google going now. It's an art project come to life, part comic book, part music that dances around with the worlds of both the living and the dead. Again, this show is right around the corner, Thursday, September 7th at Vamped. It's not up on their website yet, but it is listed on SeptemberMorning.com. And Joe Walsh returns to the House of Blues for a series of intimate shows starting November 16th. Tickets start at $99.50 plus fees and go on sale today at 10 a.m. And Cake has been added to the entertainment lineup at the Chelsea. That show goes down on Thursday, October 5th. Tickets for this one start at just $25 and go on sale today at 10 a.m. as well. Uh, so let's talk about this weekend. What are you up to? I'm going to see my uh, friends at the Dead Daisies in the Dead Daisies. They're over at Vamped this Sunday. Uh, John Karabi is a good buddy of mine, yeah. and uh, this is like this all-star band, amazing. Doug From Aldridge. Doug yeah. Aldridge, uh, Brian Tishy. Uh, go see, definitely go see them, but if you don't know the music yet or you haven't had the record, uh, thededaisies.com. Check yeah, it out. Right on, I mean, sure. it's incredible, incredible stuff. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them. And, and they're good buddies of mine. I haven't seen them in a while. So it'll kind of be cool. like a, a reunion. Yeah. Good times for sure. A great time. Well, there's so much going on tonight. Um, so good luck choosing. But tonight, um, you've got GBH with Infested, False Cause, and Chainsaw Fight at Backstage Bar and Billiards, Raised on TV with Leatherbound Crooks, Kidger No Fighter, and Huge in Japan at The Artisan, Puppet, Honor Amongst Thieves, and Bipolar at Vamped, Steel Panther, The Garage Boys, and Baker's Dozen at House of Blues. Then Saturday is Thigh Voltage, an incredible female tribute to ACDC. That one is at Vamped. And Seether is back to rock downtown Las Vegas on 3rd Street stage. These are both free shows. And it's not over yet. Sunday, after brunch, head over to the Gallery of Music and Art at Caesars Forum Shops Level 3. 
From 4 to 6 p.m., you can meet Carl Palmer of Emerson Lake and Palmer and Asia as part of the Summer of Drumming exhibition where rock icons create art through their drumming. Check it out. It's super cool. And before we head out today, I just want to take a moment to send our thoughts and our prayers to the family and friends of Adrenaline Mob Tour Manager Jane Train. She passed away earlier this week. Her family making the very tough decision to remove her from life support after the terrible tour bus yeah. accident uh, okay. that claimed the life of bassist David Z as well. Again, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Absolutely. If you have music news to share, please send me an email. My address is right there on your screen. Be safe, have fun, and above all, get out and rock out. We will be right back.